for the reading of the word remain standing first Samuel chapter 3 tubaki tumesimama hapo Samuel wa kwanza mstari mlango wa 3 we we'll just read a couple of verses tutasoma uh, mstari michache tu hatutasoma yote lakini tutasoma ugeukie jirani yako tell them son mwambie mwana tazame tu na nia ya wana wewe unaandaliwa kwa ajili ya ubadilisho wa kiroho mwambie mmoja wawili waambie wakati ni sasa unabadilishwa wewe uko hapa uko katika machira kubadilishwa kwa ajili ya wakati ya, ya kiroho kubadilishwa kiroho mwinua mkono mshifu bwana kwaweza ukaa chini katika jina la Yesu the wa wana wa Mungu unangojewa kuna machungu katika roho kuna kilio katika bingu ya inchi ya, ya roho kwa sababu ya wana ili wakaweze kujidhihirisha na huu wakati sasa itakuwa ni kiu, kizazi kipya kizazi kipya cha wana ile se, uh, sheria ya kitambo ila sheria ya ila imekwisha nasema tena ya kwamba mfumo wa kitambo is over imekwisha and a new breed na kizazi kipya of his sons ya wana wake Samuels alright Samueli wanainuka they have allowed the wilderness we, wao wameruhusu janga the wilderness experience wameruhusu ujuzi wa janga ili kaweze kuwatayarisha kuwatayarisha they are shaped wao wametengenezwa they are in season wewe wamekuwa wa katika majira yao kwa sababu ya kutumika na Bwana na wao wako katika janga manabii wakipitia janga hawakukuwa na uchungu no, no, no. haikuwafanya hivyo it only strengthened them ili wapa nguvu tu it gave them a new boldness ili wapatia ujasiri fulani na ikawapatia ujasiri fulani from the holy spirit kutoka kwa roho mtakatifu there is a seat that is being vacated kuna kiti ambacho mtu anaondoka kwa jesus in his wilderness experience yesu akiwa kwenye janga was mightily imparted aliweza weka uzito mno ama kapokea nguvu nyingi I announce to you this evening Ninawatangazia jioni ya leo ya kwamba roho wa Mungu There is a mighty impartation Kuna nguvu nyingi za kuingia ndani yetu ambaye nakuja ndani yako There is a mighty impartation Nimesema kuna nguvu nzito ambazo zinakujilia Jani has just begun Safari imeanza tu A mighty impartation Mpako umeanza ambaye nakujilia This season huu wakati hao majira haya ni kukutana na roho mtakatifu an encounter ni kukutana with the holy spirit na roho mtakatifu that leads to the wilderness ambaye na kuongoza kwenye janga and that kind of an encounter na huo kukumbatiana na roho mtakatifu your heart on fire inaweza weka moto nafsi yako ni with the holy spirit kukumbana na roho mtakatifu can never leave you the same haiwezi kuacha jinsi ulivyo it sets your heart inaweka moyo wako on fire inaweka moyo wako moto sets you ablaze inakufanya unashika moto sets you aflame inakuweka moto sets you on fire inakuweka moto for the things of god kwa sababu ya mambo ya mungu for the burden of the lord kwa sababu ya mfigo wa mungu kwa sababu ya mwenendo wa mungu kwa sababu ya nyumba ya mungu the seal of god hiyo kwa sababu ya miondoko ya mungu ile moto in your heart katika moyo wako that turns cities ambaye nageuza miji right side up inageuza miji chini chuo John the Baptist. Yohana Mbatizaji. Had alluded to this. Alikuwa ashatangaza haya. And it is recorded. Na imeandikwa. In Matthew 3:11. Katika Mathayo 3:11. I indeed baptize. Inasema ya kwamba kweli na wabatizeni. With water. Na maji. And to repentance. Ili ukaweze kugeuka mioyo. Lakini yeye anayekuja. After me. 
yeye ambaye anakuja baada ya yeye ni mkuku niliko ambaye viatu vyake siwezi funga vi, kamba zake yeye atawabatiza na roho mtakatifu na moto 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 was manifested. Kwa hivyo Yesu akadhirishwa jinsi Biblia inavyosema. For the rising kwa ajili ya kuinuka na kuanguka na kwa wengi. The one who was baptized. Yeye ambaye alikuwa anabatiza in holy fire in ka, holy the, in the holy ghost and with fire. Na yeye alikuwa anabatiza na Roho Mtakatifu na moto. Jesus went into the wilderness. Yesu Kristo akaingia kwenye jangwani. But under an open heaven. Lakini akiwa chini chini ya mbingu zilizofunguka. What an anointing this day. Hiyo ndio upako katika siku hii. He went into the wilderness. Aliingia katika jangwani under an open heaven. Akiwa na mbingu ambayo imefunguliwa. And after his 40 days. Na baada ya siku 40 were over. Ilikuwa imekwisha. He came forth. Alikuja. With a fire. Akiwa na moto. After the wilderness experience. Baada ya kupitia jangwani. After a divine encounter. Baada ya kukumbana kiroho, baada ya kukumbana kiroho na roho mtakatifu na moto. He came forth. Alikuja. With fire. Akiwa na moto. The spirit of the Lord. Roho wa Bwana. He said akasema hivi Is upon me Amesema roho mtakatifu kwa juu yangu kwa sababu amenipaka mafuta Ni katika jangwani where the holy spirit ambako roho mtakatifu leads where the holy spirit leads ambako roho mtakatifu anaishi the anointing anaishi katika upako the anointing upako is received inapokelewa that place you were told last night pale ambapo tuliambiwa jana don't go with a crowd ya kwamba huendi na umati don't go with your friends hauendi na rafiki zako you don't go with men please hauendi na watu wengi don't go with men who praise you hauendi na watu ambao wanakusifu ama watu ambao wanakutoa makosa hapa mahali that is where hapo ndipo he anoints you ambaye anakupaka mafuta na moto haleluya oh yes lord So Jesus Kwa hivyo Yesu was manifesting alidhi, alikuwa anadhihirisha kama mwana. Now here. Hebu nisikilize. Here in this conference. Hapa katika kongamano hili. In this season. Katika majira haya. You know Bishop Daddy spoke on Sunday. Unajua askofu alinena hivi Jumapili. The direction he gave. Kwamba mwelekeo tulikuwa tunaenda hivyo ndivyo Mungu alikuwa anaenda kufanya kwa wale ambao wanasikiliza sauti yake si hii ni ICC kwa ajili ya lengo ya kutambulisha lakini huu ni mwito kuna mwito This is not an ordinary ICC sio ICC ya kawaida the one you have heard, this is a 16 16 yeah. ya 16 This one Hii is not the one you know Sio kile ambacho unajua It's not the usual Sio ile ya kawaida How many know that God always does a new thing Wangapi wanajua kwamba Mungu anafanya kitu kipya anasema tazama nafanya kitu kipya wewe we utambue kwa sababu mambo ya kiroho lazima unapambanua kiroho So this ICC Kwa hivyo ICC hii is not the ordinary sio ya ile ya kawaida kawaida this is we came to a threshing floor tulikuja mahali pa kuandaliwa this is a threshing floor ni hapa ni mahali pa kuandaliwa listen to every message Ke, every song sikiliza kila ujumbe kila wimbo ambao unaimba hapa watoto wetu jumapili this is a threshing floor hapa ni mahali pa kuandaliwa mwelekeo wa kongamano ile ile hali hali ya hewa ambayo tunaingia tukiomba kile ambacho unakinatendeka kwako ukilala aina ya ndoto ambazo unaota aina ya ufunuo ambao roho mtakatifu anakupa hii si kongamano la kawaida. You know, Unajua watu wengi wanasema tukisema kongamano. Na kawaida lazima tuseme hivyo. Hivyo ndivyo tunatambulisha. Inaonyeshwa pia na watu wa dunia wanajua hivyo. Lakini sisi katika ufalme lazima tujue majira ya kutembelewa kwetu. 
This this kind of meeting is where you have divine exchange. Ni mahali ambapo unabadilishana kiroho. This is not ordinary. Hapa si kawaida. It's got to be spiritually designed. Lazima ukaweza kupambanua kiroho. Oh, it's a preparation. Ni mahali pa kuandaliwa. So this meeting. Kwa hivyo mkutano huu it cannot be for everyone. Haiwezi kuwa kwa kila mmoja. Because when a woman needs conception when a woman conceives. Kwa sababu mwanamke akitunga mimba. She does not conceive by the side of the road. Hakutungi mimba akiwa barabarani. Conception takes place in the secret place. Kutunga mimba ni mahali palipofichika. We are here to conceive. Sisi tuko hapa kwa ajili ya kutunga mimba. There's something going on. Kuna kitu kinaendelea. Katika utumbo wetu wa kiroho. Oh. Oh. And it's a new breed. Na kuna kizazi kipya. Of sons that is right. Ambacho ni chawana ambacho kinainuliwa. The old order is over. The old order is over. Ah ile sheria za kitambo au kizazi cha kitambo kimeondoka. The old order is over. Kizazi cha kitambo kimekwisha. Oh my god. You know when God is through with an order, unajua Mungu akimaliza mfumo mmoja, he's through. Amemaliza. Do you remember how He came to Joshua. Unakumbuka wakati alikuja kwa Yoshua? And he said, Na akasema, Moses, hii ni nini? Get up. Amka. Moses my servant is dead. Musa, now. Mtumishi wangu amekufa. Sasa sasa hivi inuka. So the old order is over. Kwa hivyo mfumo wa kitambo umekwisha. This conflict. Kongamano hili is for those who wale ambao walikuwa wamesikiliza wakisikia ikitangazwa ndani yake katika utumbo wa uzazi Askofu Kamere akasikia kule Nyeri. Mungu katika majira yake. Anakusanya watu wake. Ajalishwe na hii kanisa gani? Hii kanisa gani? Do you stand up singing or do you sing hymns? Do you lie down? Ajalishwe wewe unaimba nyimbo za tenzi za roho ama nyimbo aina gani? Wewe unalala chini ama unainuka juu? Haya ni majira ambayo unaelewa kuna kitu ambacho Mungu anafanya. Na nataka kuwa hapo. Mungu usiache haya yanipite. Unapotembelea watu wako. Unapobadilisha mambo. Unapobadilisha majira. Usinisahau Bwana. Mimi niko hapa. Hapa mahali pa kuandaliwa. Niko tayari kuondoa chochote ambacho nilidokota chochote ambacho ni changu ambacho si chako ambia jirani yako hapa ni mahali pa kuandaliwa bishop david prophesied askofu daudi akasema akatoa unabii ya kwamba mfumo waja na akisema aliposema hivyo for those that have been kwa wale ambao wamekuwa wakisikiliza kwa roho mtakatifu kwa, kwa tangu mwanzo wa mwaka huu wewe ulikuwa unaelewa hiyo ni imekuwa ni kitu ambacho ulikuwa unapambanua lakini ulikuwa unakosa kujua ni nini katika mwaka ujao sio sio ajali si ajali kwamba tumekusanyika hapa ha, hu, hili ni kusanyiko hili ni kusanyiko kuna kitu ambacho Mungu anafanya anasema macho yake yanatembea yana, tembea yeye amekumbuka akaja amekumbuka machozi yako amekumbuka kilio chako amekumbuka majaribio yako amekukumbuka he always comes yeye yeah, kila mara yuaja and the way he comes na jinsi anavyokuja it is not expected sio jinsi inavyotarajiwa just like the wind 
kama tu uh, upepo no one knows how it blows um, mtu hajui jinsi na uvuma inatoka wapi ama inaenda wapi jinsi yohana anavyotuambia remember the move of god kumbuka mfumo wa mungu which god brought forth to defeat media ambacho mungu alileta ili kuangamiza wa midiani god told gideon mungu akamwambia gideon kumbuka kwamba kila mfumo he always establishes a leader anainua kiongozi the one that we are to follow kwa yule ambaye inafuatwa mfuate je ushawaiona jeshi limeenda kwenye vita with no captain ambaye hawana captain so he told gideon nakambia gideoni gideoni in this move katika mfumo huu i don't need mati to sihitaji umati to do what i'm doing kwa kufanya kile ambacho nataka i only need 300 sons nataka tu wana 300 whom i will make ambaye nitafanya and move na, ni watengeneze ni wafinyange na mikono yangu mwenyewe after this conference na baada ya kongamano hili there shall be two breeds of uh, Two na of sons vizazi viwili vya wana that will be manifesting all over you go ambao watakuwa wanadhihirika popote wendao know the corners katika kila kona of the nations of the earth ya mataifa ya ulimwengu the old order sons wa, wale waza, vizazi vya kivya kitambo and the new ones na kizazi kipya you know the two old we stay together unajua hao kila mara wataishi pamoja wataishi pamoja magugu pamoja na mtama wataishi pamoja so the older sons they will have to be they will have been bypassed by the wind so kizazi cha kitambo kitakuwa kimepitwa na mfumo mpya ambao upepo mpya wa kiroho ambao umekuwa ukivuma you know when god says it's time to gather unajua mungu anaposema ni wakati wa kukusanya something is time for feast watu wengine wanafikiria ni wakati wa kusherekea hata waelewe nini inaendelea so when god is done with a thing kwa hivyo mungu akishamaliza kazi na kitu amemalizika so what should the sons expect to see ya wapasa wana wakaweza kutarajia kuona nini after successfully coming out of the process baada ya kupitia majira ya jangwa that's four things mambo manne tu halafu tutakuwa tunamaliza the first thing jambo la kwanza a radical transformation ni kubadilishwa a radical transformation kubadilishwa kwa kweli i, I tell you it is so it's radical it's like it's like madness ni kubadilishwa kama kwa kiucha the people who god who save in this watu ambaye Mungu atabadilisha katika mfumo huu katika majira haya ka, katika upepo mpya wa kiroho ambao unavuma wataokolewa kama kiucha watabadilishwa kama kichaa you know, the wind of the spirit unajua mfumo wa kiroho utakuwa unafunga unavuma 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 katika taifa letu unavuma the, That wind of the spirit was blowing again in late 80s. Upepo huo ulikuwa unavuma hapo miaka kama ya 80. And was still blowing in early 90s. Na ukakuwa unavuma mwanzo wa mwaka wa 90 hivi. In 1990. Na mwaka wa 90. When the wind was blowing. Upepo ulipovuma. People would meet in city hall. Watu walikuwa wanakutana pale city hall. To just pray. Walikuwa tu wanaomba. Lunch hour was not so much preaching. Unajua wakati wa lunch hour hakukuwa na mahubiri mengi. If you didn't get a seat you don't even know you are not sitting. Ikiwa haukupata kiti aunge jua hata hauna kiti unasimama. There was a mighty move of the spirit of God. Kulikuwa na mfumo fumo mpya wa roho mtakatifu hapa that 1990 hapo mwaka ya 90 that time wakati huo emily emily i'm just uh, smoking mimi ni navuta tu na navuta tu sigara would you enjoy you na enjoy tu i don't even know <laughs> hata sikujua what god is doing kile ambacho mungu anafanya that his eyes na kwamba macho yake yamenitazama so one day siku moja the, my husband's vehicle was in the garage mume wangu gari lake lilikuwa kwenye garage and so we are going home kwa hivyo tulikuwa tunaenda nyumbani so we took a matatu sasa tukaingia kwenye matatu that time we lived behind mountain view wakati huo tulikuwa tunaishi nyuma ya mountain view so 23 manyanga 23 manyanga ile manyanga so inside was a kwa hivyo inapiga inapiga hiyo muziki inapiga hiyo muziki 
the wind of the spirit of God. Upepo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Understand I don't go to church. Kumbuka kwamba mimi siendi kanisani. I have no plans for si, God anywhere. Sina mipango yote ya Mungu mahali popote. He's not popo. in my. Hayuko hayu katika scale. majira yangu, mambo yangu, mipango yangu. The presence of God came and surrounded me. Nguvu za Mungu zikaja zikanifunika. I don't even know presence. Hata sijui what is present? I don't know what it is. Sijui hata ni nini. All I knew. Kile ambacho nilijua. Something came over me. Kile kitu kilinishukia. And I knew. Na nikajua. My life. Ma, maisha yangu. Let this one be sing sing. Wacha hao wanaimba imba. My life. Macho uh, maisha Would yangu. Will never be the same again. Haitawahi baki jinsi ilivyo. When I was there, God made sure my husband didn't talk to me. Mungu akahakikisha kwamba mume wangu akaweka ukuta. Because it was my season. Kwa sababu ilikuwa majira yangu. And I knew I was a sinner. Kisha nikajua mimi ni mtenda dhambi. I prayed but I, I don't Nika, know. Nikaomba lakini sikujua ombi la toba. Kila ambacho najua. Something hit me. Kitu kikanijia. I came face to face nikakuja nimeangalia uso kwa uso na kukumbana with something i've never felt before na kitu ambacho sijawahi kumbana nacho and my life na maisha yangu will be for god ikakuwa ni tofauti nilijua hivyo nilikuwa kwa kwa sababu ya mungu so i come out of the matatu kwa hivyo nashuka kwenye gari before the matatu nashuka kwenye daladala the presence of god Uwepo wa Mungu kaondoka. And God caused the man to now ask me a question. He was permitted. Aka, sasa akamruhusu bwana wangu akaweza kuzungumza. Akaniuliza wewe umelala? No. Nikasema hapana. Shortly it was time to get out of the matatu. Punde tu ikawa ni kwamba lazima niondoke kwenye daladala. Nilipoondoka kwenye daladala. He asked me. Akaniuliza. Do you have your muzos? Je, uko na muzo yako? Sigara wewe. Na sigara zako. I said. Nikasema. I said. Si don't want to touch mine. Usiguze zangu. Ajui. Something happened in that matatu. Kitu kilitendeka pale kwenye matatu. I cannot explain. Siwezi elezea. Radical transfer. Kubadilishwa kwa kweli. The presence of God. Uwepo wa Bwana. Who we'll find them where they are. Utakuwapata popote walipo. I had been in a cl- I had been in carnival the Friday before. Nilikuwa kan- ka- pale carnival hiyo Ijumaa. I never went back. Sikuwahi rudi huko. Few weeks later. Baada ya majuma machache. It was Easter. Ikakuwa ni wakati wake. Tell your neighbor radical transformation. Mwambie jirani yako kubadilishwa kwa kweli. Let me take it. I was not a candidate if one of those born again could not have come to witness to me. Sikukuwa mmoja wao ambaye amehitimu ikiwa mmoja wao wa wale wameokoka wangekuja kwangu. No one could come to witness to me. Hakuna yote ambaye angekuja kuhudumia ama kunihubiria. Mimi nilikuwa mangaa. I come to pronounce to you. Nimekuja kukutangazia this new dispensation. Katika majira haya mapya. The mangas. The wale wa mangaa wanakuja. The mangas on the streets. Wale mangaa wanakuja. The mangas in the club. Wale wametoka kwenye the club. The mangas in the matatu. Wale wanatoka kwenye matatu. That those that breed. Wale watu wote mangaa are coming. Wanakuja. Coming. Wanakuja. Second thing I want to submit to you. Jambo la pili ningependa kuambia that we should expect as sons ambaye ya kupasa utarajie kama mwana is that the fire of the holy ghost ni kwamba moto wa roho mtakatifu sweep over our nation utaweza fakia katika nchi yetu write it down hebu iandike chini the fire of the holy spirit moto wa roho mtakatifu sweep over our nation utafakia katika nchi yetu because he's raising those sons kwa sababu anainua hao wana the fire of the holy spirit will be coming to make them into fire brands moto wa roho mtakatifu utawafanya wawe wamejazwa na moto kila mara fire brands watakuwa wanawaka moto fire brands watakuwa wanawaka moto the days of samson kama wakati wa samson he set the foxes akaweza two by two akaweza kuunganisha mangweha na kuweka moto and destroy ambaye itaweza kuangamiza the philistine ngano ya wa filisti hallelujah jeremiah experienced this fire jeremiah akaweza kumbana na moto huu he said but his word akasema na neno lake was in my heart ilikuwa katika moyo wangu as a burning fire kama moto ulao shut 
in my bones. What manner of sun is that? Je, hiyo ni aina gani ya wana hiyo? The fire. Ya kwamba moto shut in your bones. Ambayo imefungwa katika mifupa yako. Because the word of God. Kwa sababu neno la Mungu. Inawaka na waka katika moyo wako. Benson in the house are late men of God. Benson in the house in the house aliweza elekeza watu wa Mungu. Akaweza kumbana na moto kama huyu. This is the kind of fire that sets hearts ablaze. Hii ndio aina ya moto ambayo inachoma mioyo. And as it is pet setting hearts ablaze. Na ikiweza waka kwenye mioyo ya watu. It is consuming. Inaweza teketeza. That which is on its way. Inateketeza chochote ambacho kitokanacho chochote ambacho kitoko njiani. This is the kind of fire. Ni aina ya moto. That we used to sing in songs of old. Baadaye tulikuwa tunaimba nyimbo za kale. The revival songs. Ya kwamba ni nyimbo za uvuvio. That we would sing in a kesha all night. Ya kwamba tungeipa katika kesha usiku mzima when the holy ghost sweeps over this nation roho mtakatifu anapofagia nchi hii he will revive ataweza or he will cause the, the, the same spirit atasababisha roho yule yule in the songs that shall be sung katika nyimbo ambazo zitakuwa zinaimbwa because judah comes for sababu yuda anatangulia mbele do you remember the songs je unakumbuka zile nyimbo songs of fire nyimbo za roho za moto the light of your love is shining inasema ya kwamba moto wa bwana unangaa in the midst of the darkness shining katikati ya giza unangaa jesus yesu the light of the world wewe ni mwanga wa dunia shine upon us hebu wewe teketeze ndani yetu wacha tukaweze kuimba tukaweze kuishi katika ukweli shine on me lord hebu ngaa ndani yangu bwana those sons How do you wanna Those sons whose hearts are set ablaze How do you wanna ambao wameteketezwa na moto Will worship and ask Wataweza kuabudu Mungu na kuuliza Jesus to shine Yesu hebu ngaa Not me sio mimi Not my church sio mimi sio kanisa Wacha isiwe kanisa sio kwamba karama yangu hebu teketeza ndani waka ndani yangu in the church in Kenya katika kanisa la la Kenya teketeza Kenya Tanzania teketeza pale Tanzania hebu ngaa Tanzania ngaa popote pale feel this land hebu jaza kila nchi katika nchi with the father's glory na moto wa utukufu wako bless spirit place hebu waka roho waka flow river flow hebu tiririka maji ya uzima tiririka flood the nations hebu uweza furika kila mahali and with mercy as you were praying pamoja na neema pamoja na wale umati wa watu ambao wanaimba hebu hebu tuma neno lako lord let there be light bwana wacha kuwe na mwanga wako radical song hiyo ni nyimbo za kichaa nyimbo za kichaa radical songs nyimbo za kichaa for a revolution kwa ajili ya mfumo mpya every new move ikiwa kila it is accompanied with new other songs inaweza wekwa na nyimbo mpya what god is saying ambaye nasukuma mfumo wa mungu from an open heaven wanapokea kutoka mbingu zilizofunguliwa hebu nisikilize usiku wa leo oh these are the type of prayers and songs hii ni baadhi ya, ma, ya maombi ya, na nyimbo ambazo ambayo ilikuwa inabadilisha miji wakati moja watu katika mji wakasema katika kitabu cha matendo watu bwana ambao wanageuza miji wamekuja hata hapa katika mji wetu wamekuja katika mji wetu wamekuja kanisa kwetu wamekuja familia yetu wamekuja hapa parliament wamekuja katika ubunge Haleluya. Jambo la tatu. Unakumbuka huo mfumo? Watu walikuwa wanasimama tu kwenye matatu na kuzungumza neno. Popote. Kama mimi niliokoka katika mfumo huo. Nilikuwa kesha kila Friday. Na mimi nimeamua. Sometimes na ujauzito pengine nanyonyesha 
house girl or no house girl I, we, we kuna mfanyikazi wa nyumba ama hakuna mfanyikazi wa nyumba kesha i do not there are no churches like this hakukuwa na kanisa kama hii beautiful churches where we can come and kanisa kesha kanisa ya urembo kama hii tuko na carpet if there was no kesha in a hall ikiwa kama hakuna kesha katika ukumbi kulikuwa katika nyumba we had children tulikuwa na watoto we opened our house tuliumfungua nyumba yetu kwa ajili ya kesha I didn't even know of young children. Si kujua hata nina watoto wadogo. There was nothing like they would be disturbed. Kuli hakukuwa na kitu kama watasumbuliwa. Walikuwa na lala usiku mzima. Because the queen of us. Kwa sababu mfumo wa roho mtakatifu. God. Blowing. Ulikuwa unavuma. That thing we should expect. Jambo la tatu ambalo ya kupasa kutarajia. Joy. Ha. Furaha will be restored. Ha. Furaha itarejeshwa. The joy Furaha of the Lord. You've not seen that kind of thing. Hujawahi ona furaha kama hiyo. Kizazi hiki akijaona furaha kama hiyo. That sort of joy. Hiyo aina ya furaha. Do you remember? Je, unakumbuka? We didn't even know how to dress. Hatukujua hata jinsi ya kuvalia. We didn't know how to, to dress. Hatukujua hata jinsi. But even we didn't have wardrobe. Lakini hatukua hata na wardrobes. Unakumbuka kwamba hatukujua. And the joy we had. Na furaha ambayo tulikuwa nayo. And speak about joy. Furaha ambayo haiwezi elezewa. This joy will shake nations. Furaha hii itatikisa nchi. Where did this joy go? Furaha hiyo ilipotelea wapi? Joyful. Kuna furaha. There was no lack. Unajua ya kwamba hakukua na kukosa. Do you remember there was no lack? Nani anakumbuka kwamba hakukua na kukosa kitu? Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. One night in the Usiku mmoja pale miaka ya 90 nikapika nika chakula cha mwisho ambayo ilikuwa ni kizazi kimoja na cabbages and there was no milk na kukuwa na maziwa hakuna majani tumepokea tisho ya mwisho hauwezi amka ukaenda kwa cho hakuna tisho are you getting my point kuna nipata and we go to bed na tunaenda kulala there is no issue you don't even it's a, not even the prayer haiko kitu ambacho unaombea all we know kile ambacho tunajua our children would never learn watoto wetu hawatawahi kosa there is a couple kuna who are alive in this city kuna watu wenye kondoo ambao wako katika mji huu walikuwa wameenda honeymoon the lord recalled them bwana akawaita that night they just feeling and cold usiku huo watu wakasikia they feel that they don't wakasikia tu hawataki kukaa huko they drop into our compound waka wakaweza kuja katika compound yetu at midnight usiku wa manasi wakipita karibu saa saba hivi usiku we sat in the sitting room tukakaa kwenye sitting room i gave them water nikawapatia maji but you know the holy spirit is the provider roho mtakatifu anapea walikuwa washakula mahali wanatoka they understood wakaelewa why they were sent kwa nini wametumwa they were angels walikuwa ni malaika do we wait jiti tunawangojea ama tunaenda mshwari kukopa asubuhi wakamuka mapema kabla tujamua hakukuwa na supermarket kwezo wakaenda dukani hakukuwa na paper bags cartons wakanunua 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 we woke up and found them Shortly we see them dripping. Oh, the joy! Furaha. You know God told Abraham. I am your exceedingly great reward. Even before the promise. Hata kabla ya ahadi. Ndipo ndivyo unapata furaha. Yeye ndiye thawabu yako. Fourth. Kwa sababu ya, ya nne, jambo la nne. What we expect. Kile ambacho tunatarajia. Is to back the new. Kusalisha mfumo mpya. God expects the new breed of sons. Mungu anatarajia kwamba kizazi kipya cha wana to back it. Inaanza zalisha. Inazalisha mfumo mpya. Samuel's order was radically opposite of Eli's sons. Ile mwanendo wa Samuel ulikuwa tofauti sana na wana wa Eli. These two sons types of sons that I imagine. Watu wana wapi ambao wanakuja kizazi kipya? The first type of 
wale wa kwanza watakuwa na kejeli ya kwa, wa, 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 wa wageni hii inamaanisha nini mtu hii inamaanisha ni wanakuja kanisani hawaelewi hata nini na inasema nini inaendelea hawaelewi nini inaendelea wanapitwa wanapitwa kama upepo wa, kizazi cha pili ndio wale watakao sema huu ndio mfumo kundi upepo wanautambua wanaojua wanaufahamu katika mitendo ya mitume mbili sema hii ni nini petero anasema hii ndio kili yeye yeah, alikuwa amepitia jangwani alikuwa ametengenezwa na Mungu hayakujalisha alikuja hajalishi kwamba umeanguka how far we have fallen sisi tumeanguka kiasi cha where we where we where we compromise hajalishi ya kwamba tumepungukiwa kiasi gani it's a new day ni siku mpya it's a new visitation no. utembelewa kupia ni mahali pema neema ni mpya na katika majira haya katika kongamano hili kile ambacho Mungu anafanya it will, it will re, 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 itaweza tikisa back those words hebu shikilia maneno hayo i conclude namalizia let's say this na kusema hivi tunahitaji kutenda kazi chini ya bibi kwa wale wahubiri ambao wanahubiri ni wakati wa ujumbe mpya ule ujumbe wa kitamba hautafanya kazi roho mtakatifu anakutarisha kwa ajili ya kuzalisha makanisa yetu ibada zetu zinabadilika sio kwamba wewe ndio utabadilika roho mtakatifu mwenyewe nilikuwa wakati mmoja katika ibada wa nyakati hizo roho mtakatifu came down in a mighty way akaja akashuka katika jia huu no minister hakuna mtendakazi angesimama kuhudumu because the holy spirit kwa sababu roho mtakatifu Jesus himself Yesu mwenyewe was in the house alikuwa ameshuka there will be such a distinction kutakuwa na tofauti hiyo you go to a church you know that is not going to be there you will know you will know unaondoka utajua you will know utajua so as a close ninapomaliza radical transformation kubadilishwa kwa kiuchaa you see what's happening Unajua kitu ambacho kinatendeka. Yesu anazungumza kuhusu hadithi ya Bwana ambaye alitengeneza karamu. Na kauliza watu wakaweza kuita wale wageni ambao walialikwa. Na wakawa na excuse. Wanakuwa na vijiji sababu. Go to the highways. E, endeni kwenye vijiji. Endeni kwenye minchi. Vichochoro vyote. Roho mtakatifu anaenda kwenye vichochoro. Anaenda kwenye vichochoro. Anaenda popote. And he's going to bring them in. Na anawaleta wengi. Kwa ajili ya kuzalisha kukuu katika mfumo mpya wa Roho Mtakatifu. Anza kuchochea moto. Hebu simama, hebu simama nataka kuuliza kama uko tayari. Je, uko tayari kwa moto? Ambao utaweza teketeza roho yako. We are here in the threshing floor. Tuko hapa katika sehemu ya kutengenezwa. So that when that move of God comes. Ili kwamba mfumo huo unapokuja. We will not persecute it. Hatutakuugandamiza. We are not going to oppose what God is doing. Hautakataa kile ambacho Mungu anafanya. We will recognize that is what we prayed for. Tutagundua ya kwamba hiki ndicho kile ambacho tuliombea. As for the spirit of God. Ulizia roho mtakatifu. To bless your life. Akaweze kubariki maisha yako. Set you on fire. Akaweze kuba ku, ku, kuangalia maisha yako to to kukubadilisha kutoka utukufu hadi mwingine ili akaweze kutoa chochote kicho ndani akaweze kukumwaga katika chombo kingine ni majira mapya ni wakati mpya come on lift up your hands and begin to inua mikono yako ukaweze kuanza kuomba kwa Mungu inua mikono yako uanze kuomba kwa Mungu